Are you a fan of the Dragon Ball Super card game? If so, check out QueenCityGaming.com for sealed products, singles, and more. Just use promo code MAFUBAJAR-10 to save 10% off your order every time. Welcome back to the Mafuba Jar, where you've been sealed away for more Dragon Ball Super content. And it is here at last. Yes, we finally have our entire order of products from Colossal Warfare. We got the starter decks, we got the special pack kits, we got our booster boxes. And I don't have to be at work and miss it! Woo! Yeah, you didn't have to miss this video. And we have dash packs as well. I just wanted to show you guys everything that we got from Queen City Gaming so you guys know what is available uh, for purchase. I recommend highly that you pre-order stuff in advance though because a lot of times pre-orders sell out before there's anything left over. So remember that for the next set. But uh, we have two of our Guardians of Namekian theme decks which Noel is going to be going over by himself in a separate I'm actually video. Re I'm, I'm hyped about a lot of things in this set, but the Namekian stuff is like one of the biggest things I'm hyped about. Yeah. And you guys saw me already open up one of these on Tuesday, or yeah, Tuesday, um, when I opened up the, uh, the Bandai package that was sent to us, the five packs and this theme deck. So you guys have already seen this. There won't be any more future videos on this. Uh, we have our five booster boxes here that we're going to spread out over the course of the next few weeks, a couple of months even. Uh, so you guys can look, can look forward to that one. We also are going to be making a single video out of our dash packs here. We have 20 set four super dash packs for you guys. And imagine if we don't get all the dash promos. That would be horrible. I, I really would hope that doesn't laugh. happen. I, I wouldn't. I'd cry. And today's video is going to be featured on these three special pack kits with uh, Demigra on the front of them. So I'm going to let you go ahead and open up the first one All and right. the last one. Ooh, yay. Because I open up five packs without you. So. Sweet. That's my way of making up for it. <laughs> yeah, but no, my job kind of trapped me that day, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we got our package from Bandai on the day that we usually film, so it was really, really rushed. Yep. So before I go ahead and open up the packs, let's go ahead and take a look at the Demigra promo here. Dimension Control Demigra. Overrome of four, pay one energy. And the autos when this card attacks during the turn you play with Overrome, your opponent chooses one card from their hand, sends it to their warp. If that card was a battle card, combo with it in your combo area. I gotta say, a lot of these Demigra, Demigra cards are actually pretty busted. Sure seems that way. Oh yeah, definitely. Overrome, Overrome and the Mechians, I feel like, got the most support out of these sets. Argument can be made for the yellow Goku's lineage and the swap and all that. But I feel that the biggest contenders were Overrome and Namekians. That's just that's just me though. That's just me. Like I said, the whole swap mechanic could very well be a huge thing too, but we'll see. Alright, so the first card here we're gonna see is Phantom Flame Cannon, Seasoning Arrow, the Legendary Flute. Wanna talk about that card? What I actually kinda of forgot what this one does. If your little card is blue, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards when the energy costs three or less to return to its owner's hand. If that card was your own battle card, draw a card. Oh. A lot of talk with Super Saiyan 3 flute decks. I can actually, yeah, I can definitely see this card being good. I, I haven't really paid much attention to the blue cards in this one because they seem mo mostly for fun. So I personally wasn't too impressed with the Harutagon stuff. Like, I, I think it could be a fun deck, but competitively, I'm not sure. But wow, yeah, that's... That's pretty good blue support in general. Yeah. Right, so we have Meta Matcha, Ox King, which actually helps out a lot of the low cost stuff here. All battle cards, all, all yellow battle cards in your battle area with three or less gain barrier. So that's pretty cool. Got Sneak Attack Vegeta, Lord Slug, Return to Form, Putiny and Demigos Thrall, Ectoplasm. Got a frigid, pl frigid blast, Putin. 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 Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> As you were talking about it, we got a reverse legendary flute. Nice. Along with those power trunks. Damn. I mean, I might do some like blue trunk with Tapion for fun because it looks like a really fun deck. But who knows? Who knows? Such so just now releasing. It's really hard to tell where it's going to fit in with all the meta in general, too. Because most of the top decks I still see being the top ones, you know, like Frieza, Ginyu, Khalifa. I don't, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, I don't really see any of those getting knocked down. Not the leaders specifically, maybe the cards in the deck. Yeah, not the, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a much better phrase than the leaders. Yeah, it, it, the leaders don't seem as overwhelming, overwhelmingly powerful as the ones we have already. True, true. With, okay, let me go over this first and then I'll 
tell you the, the one leader. All right, so there's Energy Burst Goku, Kami, times 10 Kamehameha, Dimension Support Trunks, Instant Transmission, Harutagon, Power Friend Japan, Sacrifice, Dependable Mom Bulma, got Goku, Demigra, and we have Awakened Perfection Harutagon. I'm actually hearing some things about this card. Like, I'm not even sure about the Harutagon deck itself, but I know for a fact that people are saying that leader is pretty good. Just because on its unawakened sign, when he attacks a leader card, you pitch a battle card and you draw two cards. So that's already pretty good right there. But no, um, the one leader I think is like pretty cool are, are the Piccolo leaders, both from this set and uh, st and the um, start. I keep I keep wanting to say structured deck because in Yu-Gi-Oh we have starter and structured decks, and most of the time structured decks are fairly competitive, and that's how most of these structure decks are. They're, they're competitive, so that's why I want to keep calling them that. But no, yeah, I think that the Mechian leaves are the most impactful in the set. So we have Hoy, Emissary of Flame, Gravy, Lightnings. My, I can't believe this guy's name is Gravy. <laughs> Vow Revenge. Poutine is very solar. No, I think Gravy's worse. <laughs> we have Sun Gohan, Popo, Great Ape Sun Goku, Toki Toki. Get the power guru. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it. No, go ahead. No! Quit making out with your boyfriend. Oh, I god. can hear it from here. Oh, it sounds like. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god, he did it. He actually did it. <laughs> I was thinking about it, and then I was like, screw it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is I can't even be mad at that. <laughs> All right, so charging up Sun Goten. Fledgling Talent Pan. There's actually some talk about this card, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because the activate man is you draw, you pitch a card and draw a card, and you can activate that every turn. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, there's some talk about it. Sneak Attack Goku. And our first super here. Which one is that? We have... Okay. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna pretend I know how to pronounce that word, but Grudge Ape Baby. Grudge Great Ape Baby. Uh, Epochal. Epochal? Yeah. Is that even a word? Yeah, I just don't know what it means. It's one of the few words that I don't know what it means. Alright, so for my final pack here from this box, we have Special Beam Cannon, Multi Tech Bulma, Hidden Darkness Tapion, Unbroken Dynasty Goku, Vengeful Onslaught, Ang Angalia, whatever you are, Poutine, Explorer Bulma, Gine, got Go Tanks, a Reverse Hollow Bulma. Oh, that's nice. And Discovered Dynasty Sun Gohan. Very nice, very nice. There actually might be a little bit of potential for these Bulma Mech cards too. All right, so that does it for mine. All right, only got one super. I may as well just have you open up this one since it's the same promo in each one of these. They don't change. Basically, at this point, we're just opening packs. Yeah, it saves a little bit of time here. Yeah, definitely. Because you already went over the Demigra promo, which is promo number 48. That's the only thing we didn't discuss. Oh, I didn't say the number? No. That's more my thing. I'm the one that does that. Okay. So, our first card here out of these four packs. City Patrol, Great Saiyan Man. Why did that? Why? They could have just left Saiyan Man alone. Like, I mean, it doesn't exist. At least on this card, he doesn't have his helmet on. That's one improvement anyway. Dark okay, Kamehameha. That's not terrible. <laughs> Intensifying Power Trunks. Dark Vassal Drum. Baby Vengeance Unleashed. Dark Absorption Mira. Blazing Spirit Sun Goku. Dark Rejuvenator Toa. Dark Vassal Tambourine. Daily Training Vegeta. Minus the Moustache. I wish they would have kept it. Caring Mother Videl. And Untapped Power Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku Rare. Throw that in the sleeve real quick. And where did you put... Oh, okay. I was going to say, where'd you put the bulk? Commons and uncommons. All right, come on. Let there be something good in this pack. Newfound Power, Sun Gohan. We've got Uncontrollable Bardock. Iron Vow Trunks. Planet Nemec. Dynasty Salas Chichi. Gravy in Demigra's Thrall. Time Control, Cronoa. Ectoplasm. Lord Slug, Return to Form. Time's Choice, Supreme Kai of Time. Kind-Hearted Demekian, Little Green. And Titanic Ambition Lord Slug Super. I don't know if we've gotten any of these yet. We didn't get any of our box, did we? Um, Maybe we got one. I don't remember. 
I, we, I think we did get one. We, we may have, now that I'm really looking at the card. So that's one super out of the box already. Or out of the pack. Special pack kit. Can we go for two? Some of these do have two. Two what? Oh, yeah. Two supers are better. Plucky Dynasty Pan. Oh, yeah, it certainly has happened before. It has, it has. Extra Strike Super Saiyan Sun Goten. Power Barrier Piccolo. Intrepid Dynasty Sun Gohan. Toki Toki Time Creator. Vengeful Onslaught. Blaze of Glory Sun Gohan. Kakarot. Hidden Darkness Minosha. Dark Vassal Symbol. Reverse Plucky Dynasty Pan. Oh, nice. And Burst Energy Super Saiyan Bardock. Just a rare on that one. That and that. Cool. All right. Last pack for me. All right. Invasive Power Mira. Namekian Duo Pirina. Namekian Duo Pirina. Oh my gosh. Digging Deep Vegeta. Dark Vassal Drum. Adopted Father. Some. Ado ado adoptive. Not adopted. Adopted Ugh. Father. Adopted Father. Sun Gohan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dark Absorption Mira. Sun Gohan. Prodigal Dynasty, Sun Goten, Minus Kill Zone, Keely. Miss Keely Zone. Oh my gosh, I see Kill. Yeah, that's that. why I thought too, but it actually ah, says Keely. It's Keely, I know. It's funny because we even mentioned that when we opened up our box too, and I completely missed it. Mr. Boo, Quick Dodge, Sun Goten, and Legacy Bearer, Sun Goku, Leader Card. Yeah, it's a rare. Yeah, it's just a rare. I'm not even going to bother seeing it. Leader Cards, eh. Alright, so I got my final four here. Come on, Demigrass Secret Rare. I really want to get it. I, it would make me happy. All right, so we have Phantom Flame Cannon, Namekian Duo Prina, Dark Kamehameha, Sneak Attack Vegeta, Saiyan Daughter Bulla, Hidden Darkness Tapion, Metamacha, Times Choice Supreme Kaya Time, Sneak Attack Goku, Lord Slug Quick to Dodge Goten, and Lord Slug Gigantified. The rare leader. Come on, Demigra pack. I really want that Demigra secret rare. If you guys couldn't tell, I do really like that card. It's really good. It really is. Kami the Watcher. Mira One with Darkness. Extra Strike Goten. Vengeful Onslaught. Fox King. Gravy. Heroic Counter Trunks. Symbol. Poutine. Minus Keely Zone, Pan, and Temporal Darkness Demigra. Not the Demigra you were looking for. No, but it is a Demigra I needed nonetheless. Yeah. By the way, do we know for a fact if, like, when you play Dark Overrealm, does this stay? Let me see the card. I'm going to look at it real quick while you do that. Because yeah. none of the Dark Overrealm cards say that they have to be sent to warp. But we did find, but I did just look at the rulings recently, and it turns out you can only activate Overrealm or Dark Overrealm once per yeah, turn. Yeah, it does say that. You can't do both. Which I thought you would because they're technically two different skills. Um, I'm going to say Dark Overrealm stays. It looks like it. Yeah, I haven't found anything on that yet. Alright, so Seasoning Arrow, Times 10, Kamehameha, Gohan, Mira, Baby, Instant Transmission, Daily Training, Vegeta. Closest thing we have to a generic red... Kind of a generic draw card for red. I mean, we kind of already have that in pan, but... Eh. Do as you will. Alright. Hidden Darkness Minosha. Mr. Boo. Tambourine. Reverse Power of Friendship Pan. And a Successor of Hope Rare card. Definitely gotta sleeve this one up. And we'll sleeve you up too, because you look cool. And it's a rare. Yep. It's pretty much a, a zero cost searcher for your Goku's lineage with an energy cost of five or less. So that's it's really good. In fact, you only have to pay any energy for it. I feel like that's going to be one of the things that would make swap a thing. That they have a free searcher. I don't know. I personally feel that's really, really important to them. All right. So we have Iron Vow Trunks, Invasive Power Mira, Vegeta. Toki Toki, Po Po, Harutagon, Drum, Goku, Sacrifice, Bulma, Heavenly Wizard Demigra, and Sand Strength Babies. It'll be the final card to wrap it up. Hmm. Well, we got a super on every, every uh, special pack hit. I mean, that's not too bad because, it, though rare, it is possible to not even get a super out of these. Yeah. I have unfortunately had that happen to me before. Yeah, it has happened as well here to me, so. Yeah. Definitely not impossible. 
Nope. Do a quick little recap there. Of the three supers, we have the baby, the Demigrin, and the Lord Select. The Demigrin being the best one by far. Because it's like the... Pro Let me go over the Demigrin, because it's very similar to the promo. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards that's into the warp. Then choose up to one battle card from your warp with an energy cost of four or less and play it. Actually, no way. It's no way. I guess it's not. I don't know why I thought it was... Oh, okay. It's similar to the Secret Rare, kind of. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. This is... This is just pretty much a very baby version of the Secret Rare. You know, this card's very good nonetheless. We have Baby, which is, which I think would be kind of good for the Baby deck. And the e EX Evolve for Lord Slug. I don't know too much about the Lord Slug deck. But, man, this is going to take... Alright, so these are our rares here. Got the Baby, Successor Hope, Bardock. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Gohan, Trunks, and the Harutagon leader. And for our reverses, unless I missed any, we have the Flute, Bulma, Pan, and two Pans. Plucky Dynasty and Power of Friendship. Alright, so four reverses out of 12 packs. That's one in three. Yep, uh, and I think we put right. like a, a rare leader or two in the regular common stack, but that's fine. Yeah, no big deal. Yep. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the three special pack kits, our special pack sets that we have here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more content here on the Mafuba Jar. Remember, we still have 20 of these coming, and also a review of the Guardians and Mechian deck, as well as lots and lots of booster boxes of Colossal Warfare. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we will see you guys in the next video. And with that, you have been released.